Good afternoon, Nick Holland here with TechOut, and today we're going to be doing a video on something that was requested by a viewer in my last video on the adding functions to your uh, volume keys. I showed you guys that I had it set up to turn off my always on display when I press and hold the button, and then when I press and hold the up button, it turns the always on display back on. Um, and I showed that I also had it set up that if I have my volume up like this, instead of holding this down or double, you know, tapping a bunch of times to mute it, I can just double tap like that and it will automatically mute my phone or the Bluetooth headset or connected headphones, whatever it may be. Uh, so I'm gonna show you guys how I set that up. Um, I don't have anything set up for the up button, I just have it set to mute, but you could also have uh, a double tap on the up set to go to a preset volume level as well. So you're gonna need to hop into GoodLock. If you don't have GoodLock, it is on the Samsung store, not the Play Store, the Samsung store. Um, and you're going to need to go over here to Life Up on the bottom and install Routines Plus. Now once Routines Plus is installed, you don't need to do anything here in Good Luck. You actually need to go back out to your settings. This is going to add some settings to your modes and routines. Once you're in here, go down to Routines Plus, and here's all the different ones I have set up. Um, it looks like this one actually has, uh, I think it's already on, that's why it's already like that. Um, but AOD off, you can see all the ones I've added. Uh, some S Pen button stuff, all that kind of stuff, which I all have videos on already. But if we go here to volume down, you can see double press volume down key, turns the phone speaker, the wired headphones, and the Bluetooth headphones all down to 0%. So what we're gonna do is I'm just going to edit this um, and act like I'm setting it up new. Um, so you're gonna wanna choose button action. Um, and I'll show you guys what that looks like. Button action, scroll down to the bottom here. Again, if you don't install Routines Plus on Good Luck, you won't have these bottom three options right here. So you're gonna to wanna to choose button action. Choose what button you wanna use. You don't have to use your volume down key. Um, you can use your side key or your uh, volume up key. Whatever the case may be, if you have your um, navigation bar down here, your buttons down here, you can actually set those as well. Uh, they're not showing here because I don't have them enabled. Uh, so we're gonna choose volume down and we're gonna choose double press, which is the default, and done. So double press, volume down key, then you can see here it turns the media volume. So again, we'll, I'll just clear this out and show you guys what it looks like. Um, so we're going to go to sounds and vibration, media volume, and then right here you can set these. Now you don't have to set it to 0%, you can also have a double press set it to 50% or you know 25%, whatever the case may be, but I use mine kind of as, kind of as a fast mute switch. So set them all to 0% and there you go, you're all set up. So you can see if I turn this, oops, see if I if I hold it there, it doesn't do anything because it has that other um, always on display toggle on. So I do have to tap it uh, to turn it up. Now, if I want to turn it down in increments, I can still uh, you know repeatedly press it like this. You just have to do it a little bit slower because if you do it in quick succession, it's going to register as a double tap and then it will mute your uh, your volume all the way or set it to whatever the preset you set is. So that's how you set that up right there. Use that as a kind of a mute switch or, you know, uh, preset volume. You know, you can customize that on the uh, down key and the up key if you so choose. I am Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe for more tips and tricks. And as always, have a great day.